Good afternoon, and today I'm going to uh, talk about or have a quick demo of what I've been using uh, most of my travel. So, this is the Hero 7 set. Let's check this out. So, here's your. Here, here is all of the uh, conclusions. So, uh, this is the actual Hero 7 black unit with, with its waterproof casing. You have three pieces of batteries in here. You have two screws, charger. You have the three way grip. You also have the, the frame. You have the cord for the charger. And this is for the upper floater. Alright, so firstly, let's go into the actual unit. So it is enclosed with the, this type of waterproof case. So to open this up, so you just have to. Uh, can you see the arrow sign there? So it says uh, go right. So just press it there like that and then facing away like what I'm uh, uh, showing to you just have to uh, oh sorry do it like that move it easily and just have to swipe it down alright and then I just have to turn this around like that Alright, we have the actual your 7 black unit. So, uh, an important thing that I will say is that usually all of my units I put this electrical tape in here with some rubber. Uh, this is mainly for protection against uh, wear and tear issues. You have, you have the shutter button here, and then the, the actual mode button is just like just like this uh, part. With this little uh, marking symbol, so to access the to access the battery compartment, you have to press it here, and you have the access now for the micro SD card. All right, let's get one battery here. Alright, so it means it detected the battery since it blinked once there. So, to open this up, press the mode button once. There you go. So this is the battery level. This is the mode. It says you are in the uh, photo mode. This is the setting. So well, I'll skip uh, those nitty gritty stuff, but uh, to navigate it simply, just press the mode button here. Alright, like that. So, let's talk about first the video mode. So, by default, I usually set this at... Uh, so, I think I'm good with that. 1460 FPS so so all you have to do to start recording is to press the shutter button here all right so as you can see it started recording there all right so let's press it again to stop recording and actually that's all there is to the video the photo mode here by the way you can either uh, navigate this using the touch screen button or the mode button by right that side all right so let's go at photo mode and just point and shoot all right so uh, with the use of the waterproof case 
which I really recommend using this especially during underwater activities or high impact activities yes I know uh, GoPro does recommend uh, or does advertise uh, GoPro being waterproof but I'm just really being cautious about my device so oh I'm sorry so I just have to show you how I did that so just put it there make sure it's flat and then next is what I usually do is press it firmly here so I'll uh, get rid of the pressure next I'm going to hook it here and then lastly I'm going to press this out not like that still elevated down all right there you go and then you can you still have access for the mode button as well as for the shutter shutter button there all right let's try it there you go stop recording there it is so you have two batteries there by using this charger you just have to put it here then this is the included wire so you have type c as well as uh, the typical android port and just hook this to any power bank or laptop or any charging device so here's one of my favorite the three way grip so you have the limbs here and two main screws so to extend this up I usually just have to loosen this up extend so it's not yet locked so you have to turn this as well alright so let's collapse this first loosen this up and as you can notice doesn't uh, collapse all the way so you just have to press this button here and there you go lock it up so you have access you just have to uh, lock this up you can use the provided screws Right, actually that's it so you can use this stuff straight away with the land travels unfortunately this doesn't float so for any water activities or activities involving water where it's very deep like uh, snorkeling or free diving scuba so I would really uh, recommend using the bubble floaters because when some, something happens or what this will actually float up so just have to tuck this up there and there you go alright last but not the least you have the frame so you can actually use the frame this is for water activities or high impact activities. Disadvantage of this case is that it, uh, you can't really access the touch screen. But with this frame, you can have access with the touch screen function. Alright, it falls. Let's press a bit like that. Put the camera inside and then just lock it up. Oh, it's much more convenient and you can use this all right so actually that's all there is with the product inclusion so I hope you like this video and have a great day